Shalom, shalom, shalom. Good morning, family. Obama's ISIS policy is working for Trump. There's a middle ground between going all in and getting all the way out in Iraq and Syria. Obama struck that balance and Trump Trump has stuck with it. This came out January 25th, 2018 at 6 a.m. by Ian Goldenberg and Nicholas Herreras. President Barack Obama shake hands with President-elect Donald Trump in the Oval Office on November 10th, 2016. Last week, Secretary of the State Rex Trillison delivered a speech that after a year in office finally laid out new strategy for Syria, the part that's getting the most attention in his unethical declaration that the United States would maintain a definitely military presence in Syria stating that the United States maintained a military presence in Syria focusing on ensuring ISIS can't not reemerge. It does not square with President Trump's America's first posture, but it's the right call. It also represents the acknowledgement that is in Syria. Trump is using President Barack Obama's playbook. So far, it's working out pretty well for him. President George Bush deployed hundreds of thousands of troops during the Iraq war. It was costly and it took years to bear fruit and it was politically unstable. Early in his presidency, Obama sought to dis disengage with military from Iraq altogether, which backfired by contributing to the governor's vacuum that facilitate the rise of the Islamic State. Trump campaign against both in 2016. The writing Bush was as eager war. Iraq was a big fat mistake and casting Obama as weak and is the founder of ISIS. So there you have it folks. Trump is using Obama's ISIS policy. Mary, Mary Magdalene's next.